Welcome to BBC London's Children in Need at the Postal Museum. Live underground from the hidden tunnels once used to move mail around the capital. Hi, I'm Ms Latif. Welcome to our Children in Need party, where we're thanking some of our fabulous fundraisers from across the capital. Lots going on. As you can see, the disco is proving rather popular, but also so is the uh, queue for posing with Putty in the photo booth. Now, this energetic bunch that we've got here are part of a Taekwondo group. Um, so just tell us what you did, or perhaps you can show us what you did to raise money. Raise £1,600 for charity. Excellent. Show us your moves. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Were there some sore legs? Yeah. <laughs> because obviously what party would be complete without face painting. We've also got some uh, Pudsy postcards going on and I just want to stop and thank these two brothers because they have been fundraising for children in need for a whopping 10 years. Tell us uh, what you did this year. This year we did we raised money at school through a raffle and sponge the seat shop. And we also climbed over the O2. The O2, was that, was that the toughest challenge yet? Yes, definitely. Okay, well, we thank you both for it. Uh, and if you come this way, because I want you to check out this, the mail train, which we're going to check out later on. First, though, it's over to Wendy in the mini mail room. Most of the children here have been fundraising over recent weeks, so let's talk to some of them and come in here at the counter. We've got Alex and Alfie. Tell me what you did to raise money for children in need. So I did this like tough mudder, and it's very muddy. How muddy did you get? Um, about hundred percent. Hundred percent muddy. Your mum must have been really pleased to wash your clothes. Yeah, very, very. And Alfie, you really loved it. Yeah, I did it twice. You did it twice. All for a good cause. Now come over here. I want you to meet Perry and Ella. They're both five. They're twins. Ella has autism, so Perry's been learning sign language so that she can communicate with her sister and posting one a day on social media. So Perry, I think you've got a very special sign of the day today. Can you show me it? And that means children in need. Karen is mum to these beautiful girls. You must be so proud of them. We are extremely proud. We're and Ella actually gets money from children in need. She does. So we work, well, we, we're supported by Bex's Snap, who's a local charity that helps children with disabilities, and they receive funding from children in need. Wonderful. You're doing a great cause. Listen, I'm going this from you and take it to the sorting office. Riz, it's back to you. Yes, I'm by the mail trains, and if only all underground platforms were this civilised, huh? Um, everybody, we've got some more fundraisers here. These guys are part of a Wandsworth football group. Now, Barney, tell us what you did. So, we did a challenge where... So, uh, we, had a, we had a coach called King, and he threw us the ball. Um, we headed it, and the person at the end headed it into goal. So, Barney, how, um, Amari, how tough was it? Did it hurt a bit? Yeah, it hurt a little bit, but it was really challenging and fun, and I'm happy that I did it for a good time. And it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I won't hold up the train any longer. Enjoy the ride. Um, hello, Pudsy. Um, but come over here because there's a talented 11 year old who's part of the National Children's Orchestra who I'd really like you to meet. <laughs> one of those mail trains but tonight it's full of fundraisers and some of those who benefit from your incredible generosity giving us a wave um, one project orchestras for all and the clue is in the name is about giving all children the chance to get involved in music um, I've got some of the guys who take part here uh, Vincent why do you like going to the sessions what have they done for you it's improved my commitment and my enjoyment towards music Archie, tell us, um, what instruments do you play? Well, I play the guitar, the drums and the violin. What is it you love about music? I just love how much you can learn. And it's just never ending, really. the but possibilities. What, but right now, it's all about a ride on this mail train, so let's not keep them any longer. Um, but come and meet another group that is funded by children in need. It's the Limehouse Boxing Academy, and we've got some of them here. Um, just let us know, what would you be doing if you didn't get a chance to go to these boxing sessions? Oh, I'd probably be lazy at home, or I'd be hanging around with my friends outside. Okay, and Lois, tell us, um, I hear that you won 
to be a champion boxer, is that right? Yeah. Yes. Who's your role model then? Anthony Joshua. Oh, that's a good role model. Well, thank you for talking to us. And that is just a few ways that your donations are really helping make a difference to children's lives. Um, let's join Wendy now because she's with some other young fundraisers. I am indeed, Riz. Yes, we are whizzing along on the travelling post office. The rails are under us, we're speeding by, and it's a race against time to get all of these envelopes into the right places. They're sorting them out. In fact, you've done so well, you've finished it already. These girls are from St Albans uh, Primary School, and they've been raising money for children in need. This is Elisa. Tell me how you raise money. Um, so we made these play pudsies and blushes which sold for two pounds each they are beautiful how much money do you make overall tilly you made over a thousand well we and you must have got a bit mucky really messy <laughs> brilliant and i just want you to meet another uh, group over here who've also been raising money they seem to be in charge of the entire rail network at the moment and they are actually keeping still for once which isn't normal because here is poppy and these are gymnasts tell me what you did to raise money so we did how many cartwheels we could do and um i did 51. 51 cartwheels were you all cartwheeling and were you all really, really dizzy afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Riz. They are some of the fundraisers that I've got with me. And 51 cartwheels in one go. That is precisely 50 and a half more than I can do. And me. Check this out. There's still a queue to have a photo taken with Pudsy. So guess what? I'm going to come in. Can I come and photobomb? You see, it had to be done. Thank you very much indeed. Now, if you look at the other side, the disco is in full swing and among the dancers are a group of girls can I just stop you here Daisy you were dancing for children and me tell us what you were doing we danced one hour non-stop in our pajamas wow Jessica did you have some sore legs after that yeah you really did now Olivia do you think you guys want to show us some of your moves yeah okay Um, I hopefully you will still be donating. One thing is for sure, I think they will still be dancing. Hi, I'm Riz Latif and we've been spending the evening here at London's Postal Museum with some fabulous fundraisers, thanking them for the great lengths they go to to raise money for children in need. But we also want you to meet some of the children who benefit from your incredible generosity. Children like nine-year-old Callum who has cerebral palsy and other health issues. Hello, Callum. Now, that means that you've had to spend a huge amount of time in hospital, hasn't it? What's yeah. that been like for you? Annoying because I hate missing school and I love going to school and I just hate going up to London Hospital. Even South End I hate. And it can't Even be nice. though that's not far from my school, I still hate so it. So you have to travel a lot and it can't be mm. nice being in hospital no. so much. What's the hardest part for you? Missing school. Missing school. Well, your mum Faye is here. Uh, how challenging has this been for you as a family? It's been tough. I mean, Callum spent the first eight months in hospital, so we've known no different. And it's in and out of hospital all the time, aren't you, Callum? Different yeah. appointments and things. And it's thanks to um, a charity funded by Children in Need called Rays of Sunshine. And they put on activities, don't they, to make being in hospital feel a little bit better. Callum, tell us what sorts of things you do. So, uh, Evelina was the first one I did, and I went in a big bubble. I uh, coloured in. Uh, Money pig, piggy bank. Uh, and just Sophie got to come as well, didn't yeah. she? Which was it must have been quite nice. And um, tonight, how do you feel about meeting Pudsy? Happy. Happy. Have you got like a happy dance? Or go on, show us. Your, oh, that's your Pudsy happy dance. That is amazing. Um, Faye, how important is this kind of support for children like Callum? Rays of sunshine have been fantastic not only do they grant wishes for children but help the children in need they're able to give the activity days in hospital and it's for the whole families so the siblings can get involved and it just takes their mind off of where they are what's going to happen needles tests and things and it's fantastic 
And what's the best part of those days when you get to come out of hospital and do all these activities? Just the activities and meeting the people I met there. Oh, well, listen, thank you for sharing your story with us. Um, have a really good time tonight to all of you. Thank you, Callum. We really, really appreciate it. Um, and Callum is just one of hundreds and of children who benefit from donations children in need. Um, Wendy, you can tell us about a very special place that you visited recently. I did, yeah, Richard House Children's Hospice in East London. It was the first children's hospice of its kind, opened in 2000. And it's just the most incredible place. They put on social events so that parents don't feel so isolated. They have an amazing residential unit where children can go and be looked after by the most incredible carers and they have days out for the siblings as well and it's just a place where children with life limiting conditions can you know have some fun and, and as we heard there it's so important isn't it for the whole family as well that's right I mean for the siblings for example they wouldn't get to go to a lot of places because their siblings have such you know complex medical needs but they went off to go trampolining for the afternoon and the joy on their faces was just fantastic it's just a really really inspirational place and it was such an honor to have been there it's so good to hear and Wendy it's true to say isn't it so many people benefiting uh, from your generosity and actually so many people to uh, especially some of our fundraisers here behind us uh, they'll be parting into the evening they will because children need continues to but from here us at the postal museum we are going to say goodbye and have a lovely evening